chill today and I'm having a great time. Like I really am in my body at peace. I feel good. Doing what I do, doing it on my own today. And yeah, I'm having a good time. So share this video if someone needs a little box. Cause I'll give it to them. Cause I'm gonna give it to them. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. It is 7.25 a.m. August 18th, 2024, which means it is my 29th birthday today. And I'm gonna take you with me <laughs> through it because if I'm dead ass, if I'm really honest, I don't have any plans. And I think as a travel influencer, people expect me to have a lot of plans. Like, expect me to be around the world, expect me to be with 500 friends, expect me to have the best reservation in New York City at least, but I don't have any plans. And I'm probably gonna take you through the day with me, which I, again, don't have planned and talk about the expectations I feel like people have behind influencers, behind birthdays. Um, and yeah, just I'm gonna hopefully by the end of today feel really happy that I did things my way and kind of with my intuition and listening to my body because look at the weather outside right now. Like it is not cute. It's been pouring rain all day. I'm gonna take you through the, this vlog <laughs> of doing my birthday alone much how like i travel much how like i navigate my life thus far solo and on my time and terms and yeah we'll see how it goes maybe i won't and i'm gonna share that if i by the end of today i'm like wait this sucks and i wish i had plans i'm happy to share that too but this is gabby's solo 29th birthday in new york city let's go so, I mean, I don't have any plans for my birthday, but last night I did like book a few things, I guess, but they're not birthday specific. So I actually am running out right now at 7.30. I know it's my birthday and maybe I should be eating ramen and staying in bed and going out for drinks, but I don't think I'm gonna do any of that. I think what would make me feel happiest at the end of the day is if I knew I were closer to hitting my goals. So not very birthday of me, like I'm sticking to the plan and not my mood. My mood is to get back into bed. My mood is like, am I even happy that I'm spending it alone? Like those are the thoughts and doubts in my head at 7.30 a.m. But the plan is to go to the workout class. And so that is what I'm gonna do. I do, I have this body rock class. I have a nail appointment, just a little grown out. They're so cute. A nail appointment at 10.30. And then I signed up for this app called Kindred Night last week which is basically like you put your plans in there and if anyone wants to join, they can. And I kind of love the concept because I like meeting new people. I'm just thinking of like 29. I'm like, do I want more close friends? I'm like, not necessarily, but I would like more consistent acquaintances, I guess. Not that I'm opposed to them becoming friends, but I'm just like, the pressure of having 100 friends is having to keep up with like 100 people. I'm probably gonna think about that today too. It's like, what does ideal 29 Gabby look like for me? And you know, obviously we're approaching 30. We're, we're at the door frame of 30. I will probably be reflecting a lot today on that. This is kind of like the same thing I did when I went to Iceland for my first solo trip. I was like, dang, is this what I wanna be at 18? And I was like, I don't think so. Reflect, shock the system. And so that's what you gotta do and that's what I'm doing. So let's hope this vlog's helpful and not just the Apertino. <laughs> I also like just spent $100 on groceries yesterday, kind of by accident, and I have so much food, and I'm on this health journey. I'm like, dang, I kind of would love to have made a reservation at like Tatiana's or another hot spot in New York today, but I, and it's a Sunday, I'm like, places are also a weird out. Like, I don't know, I'm like, it just sounds like too much effort and it's raining, I'm like, it's not the vibe. I don't know why it's not the vibe. I don't know if I'm gonna go out to eat. Maybe I'll get a little dessert. I'm like, I could get a drink, but I'm, one drink, I don't know. I don't know, 29 might be weird. 29 might be a big shift, if I'm honest, because if it doesn't make sense, if it's not bringing me value, I'm like, I don't see myself doing it, really. And I'm definitely going through some shifts with friendships right now, too, where that's reflected. I'm like, I need to be doing things that I resonate with, like, most importantly, so I gotta decide that. Hey. Okay. Ooh, it is rain. Me, it is 7.45 a.m. I expect to be the only 
Manhattanite alive and out right now, but again, this is New York, so you never really know. And I wanna like, I guess talk about this fitness journey for me. I don't really know if it's a journey. Fitness lifestyle shift sounds more appropriate because 29, I do think I wanna focus on moving my body a lot. Like I travel a lot. So it's not that I'm not moving my body on average in a year. I need to be more consistent and metabolism slowing down, all that shit, blah, 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 blah. Well, that's why I like reached out to class fast. I was like, I want a partner just to like kind of blackmail myself into working out more consistently. Birthday check-in specifically. And I got one midnight voice message from one of my best friends from college, Stephanie. Hey, Steph. She sent me one at 12.02 a.m. So she was in fact the first person to wish me happy birthday. My mom and my grandma sent flowers the other day. My roommate got me flowers and a card and champagne and ice cream, mochi ice cream from Trader Joe's, which is my favorite. And so maybe that's why I'm not putting too much pressure on my birthday too, because I already feel validated. I'm not worried that no one's gonna wish me happy birthday. So it doesn't hurt to recognize. So I'm excited to see um, messages from my friends today for sure. Morning. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> How are you? Good. Oh, awesome. Okay, awesome. Okay, two questions. Do you have any injuries? No. Great. Do you have you been on a report before? Yeah. Okay, that was so good. I'm so glad I went to the class. I feel fantastic. Number one, it's still 8.50. Number two, number three, the instructor was so nice. I'm like, I definitely will go back to the class just because I've been doing a lot of class pass classes lately and you can tell when the instructor's your vibe or not, like the way they give instructions or like, because I told her it was my first time taking that class, so 10 out of 10. It was really good and I feel really good now. So I actually am gonna get my nails done in about an hour, just enough time to go home and shower and refresh. Okay, so I got ready, took a shower, I feel fresh, I feel clean, and my entire <laughs> attitude has sh shifted towards today, kind of. I don't know, when I started it was so rainy and then like the gym class made me feel really good. I'm really, really, really happy I went, I feel fantastic. And now I'm kind of dressed and I'm like, okay, well I'm still gonna have breakfast here for sure. And maybe I will go out to lunch after, maybe I'll post on that app Kindred and see if anyone wants to get lunch with me. And yeah, I'm feeling good. But so yeah, I'm gonna finish a little bit of face. Maybe I'm gonna do a keep very, a, a very simple face today. Nothing too crazy. Maybe as a sign for me that 29 should be a mix of brat and demure. I think that's what your entire 30s should be as a successful independent woman. I'm actually currently too, for the record, um, watching Sex in the City for the very first time. I'm on like season three and it is interesting. Yeah, definitely kind of stepping into that 30s life. I'm seeing the same patterns. I don't know if it's my favorite show, but I'm like, I'm like, oh, these are conversations that people are having. Who am I? Who do I want to be? Maybe I'll do that during lunch. Maybe I'll go out to lunch. Even though I said I just paid so much in groceries, I should eat here. Or maybe I'll come back here and eat and um, journal for lunch and kind of manifest vision board journal what I want 29 to look like for myself. Wee, time is flying, I have 20 minutes to make breakfast and do that little bit of work and then run out of the door. But yeah, let's get breakfast. My bacon is done. I gotta quick make some eggs. Oh my God. Literally burnt to a nub. This was like a whole rack of bacon. I'm embarrassed. This is the breakfast. Okay, so it is scrambled eggs, cottage cheese, blueberries, a little protein. I just have baby bacon. Obviously, I burned the first one. And sourdough bread, and I love it. This is why I like solo travel, though. This freedom to be like, I'll do whatever I feel like. It's addicting. And that's actually why I was doing the dishes and reflecting, I'm like, wait. I got this apartment to kind of practice community. I am going to make it up as I go. I want to feel like staying in bed all day in the morning. I want to feel like going out at night, 
10 minutes later, I wanna change my mind, I wanna cancel, like, I think I might be really selfish. And I feel like a few people have maybe come into this video expecting me to be like, oh my God, alone on your 29th birthday. Let me follow, like, let me watch this video so we can normalize being alone. I don't have to feel so bad about being alone on my birthday soon. I hope that's what you get from this, I really do. I really hope that is what you get from this. Cause I'm having an amazing day. Alone, but to me alone looks like, it's not about not being alone, it's about not feeling bad about it. Cause you can only control yourself, you can't control other people. My ultimate goal, sharing this video, sharing my solo travels in general, is to be like, you get to do whatever you want! It's lit! Being alone is lit! Being alone is lit. You eat whatever you want. You do whatever you want. You can change your mind. I can go outside right now and go to the nicest restaurant in Manhattan for a little spritz. And I'm, first of all, face card does not decline. I could probably get a seat at the bar because I'm one. If there were three of us, me and my close friends, they would look at us walk in and be laughing and they were like, you do not have a res. Like, who are you? On a Sunday at brunch, stop. Me, little old me by myself, I'm gonna walk in and be like, can I have a seat at the bar? Yeah, I can wait 10 minutes. At least one person's leaving in 10 minutes. Like, and maybe it's the old adage, which I kind of fight with sometimes, honestly. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. I don't know. I mean, yes, I do agree with that. Because that's the thing too, is like, whether I'm with them or not today, I am surrounded in community. Technically, I've had many solo birthdays in different countries. In Thailand last year, amazing. In Dubai, in Mexico, great birthdays. With strangers, literally by myself, but always surrounded in community. I've been getting calls all day. I have, I'm eating my friend my flowers. Like my community is all around me. They just don't have to be with me on my birthday for it to be a good birthday. That's the point of the video. I need to go. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. So today's my birthday. Oh, do you have a birthday today? Mm-hmm. Happy birthday, miss. Thank you. Do you have any advice for someone who just turned 29? I don't know what to say. Mm. I planned a couple of keys. Happy birthday. Oh, really? Yeah. Is there a reason like environment mm. provide you, you know. It doesn't provide that much. Mm. But we have a special tree. It provides a lot of oxygen. It's nice that your when your birthday comes you plant some trees then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, thank you. Which one should I get? I think I want shorter ones now. The selection they have is insane. This is why I come here. This is so much better than getting, sitting in a chair and not getting any art. I think I want these. I love them. But then I'm, I need to get them done again. Thank you. Yeah, you can take it. Yeah, thank you. Wow, it's like art. Can you see me? My birthday. Yeah, they're really cute. So today I'm turning 29. 29. Do you have like life advice for turning 29? 29? Uh, almost 30. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're young. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <I'm sorry. laughs> Okay, I got my nails done. She like ripped half my nail off, <laughs> if I'm dead ass, by accident. I don't really blame her. My nails are really thin, but it did rip the top of my nails off, but they're cute. Eh. And actually, I'm now gonna go to the Soho house to have a drink and journal and intention set for 29, which means I can't video, because you can't video inside Soho house. So I'm gonna go in there, have my drink, maybe go to the rooftop, maybe I can sneak a little bit in, but if not, I'll like, debrief y'all on my notes. 
later on. But it's sunny. I was kind of I was kind of upset about my nails actually. And then I was like, wait, I chose these and I didn't even realize they looked kind of mermaidy. And I'm like, wait, these don't even match the vibe. So I was a little off put, but now I'm back. It's sunny. I'm gonna have my drink, I'm gonna relax. And it's one. You know, it's fine. It's still my birthday. yellowfin tuna tartare and I'm gonna go back home and lay down for a bit. We watch some TV, have some of the food that I bought from Trader Joe's. I'm feeling good. I also will reflect on my journaling for my 30. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't go home yet. I found just a jazz band in Union Square Park and I had to fit. I had to do the New York thing and just embrace it. And it's really good. Okay, I'm back in my apartment. I am cooling down. Oh my gosh, how did the temperature go from sad, chill, emo, calm, reflective, to hot, sweaty, jazz in the park, dancing kid, energetic vibes so quickly. Like that's New York, I guess, but I did, I could not have expected um, for, you know, three o'clock to feel like, wait, should I say out? Should I get another drink? I would like to go through the journaling I did today to kind of put it on film, because I have it obviously written down, a quick page. I try not to be too loquacious, but I really wanted to get concise in what I want this year leading up to 30 to look so, 365 days till 30 is the title of the diary because yeah, it's I guess a countdown, but I try not to view countdowns as negative things and more as accountability. The first thing I wrote down that has been kind of top of mind for myself lately is that all of my friends, and I wrote down can be, like all of my friends can be and I crossed out can be. I was like, all of my friends are described as supportive, kind, direct, giving, inspiring, and they think of me the same way. Second one, I wanna own property in some kind, somewhere, somehow. Number three, I'm confident in my body. I am confident in knowing who I am and what I want from a relationship. Romantic, parentheses romantic. Okay, and the next one, I happily feel the passage of time and time moves slowly. Like I already said, time is something I really struggle with. I feel in control of my life, my business, my direction, and myself. I have a documentation of the top moments of my 20s and reflect fondly. Ooh, I'm 100% confident navigating my introduction, like my introducing myself and my job in a variety of spaces. I have a few intentional status symbols that make their own dividends. And finally, I feel confident, clear, and at peace with my path forward. I wanna walk into 30 confident, happy. I want the decade laid out in front of me. I want to feel 20 again in terms of like hopes and potential and possibilities and excitement. If you want the full 10 minute vlog, you're just going to have to subscribe because I'm going to be posting it next week. And you know, while you're doing that, while we're here in this room together, you might as well like this video, share it with a friend, especially if they're turning 29 soon, turning 30 soon, or just having a crisis about life in general and want to see someone take on life solo and do their birthday solo and basically enjoy the journey because I feel like that's what I'm doing. I think I might do another journaling session where I think about the things that have been roadblocks, not physical, um, but more like mental roadblocks for me, like introducing myself an influencer. That's kind of my thoughts with journaling. Shout out to Pax Light. It's 3.43, I'm literally gonna watch TV and eat a mochi ice cream and I think chill and do nothing for a few hours. I have that reservation from Kindred at six, I think, for a party two blocks away. It's so close, the weather's great. You can cancel up to three hours before, which would be like right now. So I don't know, I might go. I, I plan to still go, I still have the reservation, but I'm like, I think I wouldn't, if I don't go, I'm gonna regret not going. It's my solo birthday, so I'm making it up as I go. So, I stayed in. <laughs> I stayed in. You probably can't hear right now, but it is absolutely pouring rain. It's 
it's gonna be pouring rain until 1 a.m. And yeah, I think at like five, six, I was like, okay, do I wanna go out? Do I wanna go to that thing? And it wasn't really about the weather. It was really about just having this time to myself. I think with intention. I spend a good amount of time alone when I'm traveling. Even during the day, my roommate goes to work and I'm by myself, but I'm always working. Something's on my mind. I'm doing emails or I'm posting content or I'm engaging in the comments or the creative concepting or I'm like whatever it is. I'm always doing something for work basically. And I realized like, yeah, today's Sunday. And so like I sat in the park and listened to jazz and I had that lunch out and had a drink and some hamachi and then I've really just been journaling since I've been home and realized that yeah I just wanted this time alone with intention so that's what I've been doing and that I guess is my 29th birthday that's the end of the vlog I'm cozy I got my sweatpants on I just hope that this vlog normalizes having your birthday alone I guess and like not just alone because you have to I hope this can normalize to you just enjoying your time with intention. I mean, I've been talking about it obviously all day. I think I want all of 29 to be about being appreciative of my 20s and the growth that I've had in this decade and reflecting on it and like doing my last little sprint of growth and like who do I wanna be and wh what do I want in my 30s and just probably saying that over and over again and be like, I'm 29, I'm about to be 30, I can't do that anymore. Or I'm 29, I'm about to be 30, I need to start doing that. And you know, I journaled a lot today really about the things that I want to feel, the things that I want to have, the things I want to do, the people in my life. I made like a list of people who make me feel fantastic. There are so many things that I want to do this last year. I moved to New York City because I wanted this time to be in the city, to have a space, to like, I knew I needed these ingredients to be able to level up into the next version of myself. And turning 30 next year, in a year from now, catch me back at this vlog. I will be YouTubing still. I'm putting it out there. If I do not have a one year follow up for this video, I gotta shut it all down. Like, the point is to be vlogging. So I'm really proud of myself for making this today too, because yeah, this is who I wanna be. Like I'm like, it's not fake it till you make it. It's just becoming that person and I wanna become this person. So thank you for joining me. Thanks for being along on this solo birthday day. People spend their birthdays alone all the time. If you're watching this because you're spending your birthday alone, I'm not the first to do it. I'm sure that there are other vlogs, especially on YouTube, but there should be more. It's not that I think you should be alone on your birthday. It's just that if you want to be, or if you are in that position, I hope that I helped normalize it a little bit. And I can honestly say that after spending the day by myself, I've had such a great, great, great birthday. I have felt no stress, except for that lady ripping my nail. Oh my gosh, like, but I got my, like, I'm feeling cute, I'm feeling accomplished. I went to the gym, I'm feeling reflective. I feel like I had a few baby realizations just from journaling today. And I feel magical. I walked on the street in my little outfit, my birthday outfit, which remember I was like, oh, I don't know if I wanna get ready. I got ready and I got so many compliments. People were like, wait, I love your outfit. Like, I love that vest, where'd you get it? I love your shoes. Oh, I love your hair. And I was like, wow, I'm really happy I got ready this morning. And just little validations all day that made me happy that I did what I did today. And I hope that you're getting the same thing on your birthday. If you're watching this because you have a birthday coming up, happy, happy birthday. If you're spending it solo, no you're not because you're spending it with me. <laughs> and I'm not spending my birthday solo really either because you're watching this now. And really, in spirit, you spent my 29th with me. So I appreciate you so much and catch you in the next vlog.